Empty space isn't empty. Put two uncharged metal surfaces insanely close and nothing pulls them together. That pull is real. It's been measured in the lab. So what's doing the pushing? Popsi says, virtual particles. But here's the careful version. In quantum field theory, virtual particles are usually a way to talk about internal steps in the math, not little detectable pellets flying around. Now the experiment. In a landmark setup, the Casimir force was measured at separations around 0.6 to 6 micrometers, about the scale of tiny dust-sized gaps. And the results match theoretical expectations at roughly the 5% level. Here's the intuition that actually helps. Think of space like a place where electromagnetic waves can exist in many patterns, many possible modes. When you bring two conducting surfaces close, fewer wave patterns can fit between them than outside. That difference changes the vacuum energy in a way that shows up as a force. People call this a vacuum pressure effect, like the outside has more push than the inside. But that's an analogy. The safer claim is the structure of the quantum vacuum and allowed field modes changes when boundaries are close, and that can produce measurable physical consequences. So do virtual particles cause the Casimir effect? That wording is interpretation dependent. What solid is this? Quantum field theory predicts a force from vacuum effects between close conductors, and experiments measure it. And it's not just a cosmic curiosity. At micro and nano scales, forces like this are discussed as practically relevant because parts can sit extremely close together, so tiny forces stop being tiny. That's the paradox. Virtual doesn't mean fake. It means not directly observable, yet the vacuum's math still leaves fingerprints you can measure. If you love mind-bending science, subscribe to SciBite Insights for more.